is going on guys my name is Aiden and welcome back to yet another video here on the channel in this video guys we are going over how you guys can actually go ahead and install mods who on Minecraft Windows Edition aka Minecraft Bedrock Edition on your PC this is super easy to do and you can do this not only on your PC but on like your Xbox or any other device that Minecraft Bedrock Edition is on and if you want to guide on that just let me know down in the comment section below by just typing out what platform you are playing on and I can make a guide on that for you guys that being said, this one is specifically for Minecraft Windows Edition version 1.20.81, but it will work with future versions. So if you are watching this in the future, this will still work. It's just been a long time since I made a video like this. So I thought I would go ahead and sit down and keep you guys updated with what really grew my channel in the first place. But yeah, that being said, I know I'm on Minecraft right now. There's no settings that you really need to adjust on here right now, but while you are on Minecraft, just make sure you're looking at this version because this version down here is going to be super important for later okay what you guys are going to want to do though is actually exit out of minecraft and go to any search engine doesn't really matter which one you go to you just need to head over here and go up to the very top of the search bar and just search up mcpedl and then just hit enter and it's going to go ahead and take you to this page right here just click on the first one and it's going to say minecraft pe mods this is kind of like a weird looking site it's weird to navigate so just stick with me closely make sure you guys are paying attention what you want to do depending on what you're trying to download is actually navigate to the section up here so as you can see up at the top it says mods maps servers skins texture packs help submission so pretty much you can download really whatever you want obviously for the sake of this video we're talking about mods so you want to go over to this mod section just like so and then just hover over it just like i'm doing right here and then go to add-ons don't go to scripts scripts isn't really that important for this just go to add-ons because that is pretty much what they call mods for minecraft bedrock edition and here there's actually going to be a ton of different mods that you can obviously scroll through and find something that you might actually enjoy just make sure you're not clicking on any of these pop-ups over here for these ads they're not important this is just how this site makes so much money is all of this stuff right here but let's just try and find an add-on that you know looks pretty interesting the way that i recommend finding these is actually by going to this latest category just like so and go to most popular of like all time because usually those are the best mods as you can see there's a furniture mod right here here's a literally a pokemon mod this is literally pixel mod right here if you guys don't know here's a gun mod which looks absolutely sick new player animations always good more tools is always nice zombie apocalypse is pretty fire even more furniture stuff this is just like the best section even mutant creatures is on here which is really nice but yeah i always navigate to most popular to find a mod that like is consistently updated but if you really do want some new mods and you're just looking to add whatever the latest and greatest stuff is just go to latest and as you guys can see there's prehistoric predators and x men mod here's zombie apocalypse right here which is crazy i can't believe this one is that popular and obviously a ton of other furniture mods as well as well as like star pixel which looks pretty interesting i don't know i might have to try that one out but pretty much choose whatever you want because this one was on both the most popular one and is on the latest one i'm gonna try this one out right here so just click on the one that you guys are trying and there's a few things you're going to want to look for on the page of your mod First of all, look for any section that says experimental gameplay must be active because this is important for setting later. So just keep note if it says something like this. And then the only other things that you're really going to need to look for is like different crafting recipes because obviously this is going to be really important for playing the mod itself. And then continue scrolling down until you get to the download sections and the supported Minecraft sections. In the supported Minecraft sections, just make sure this is the version of Minecraft that you're on because that is what it'll work for. Obviously, if you're on a previous version of minecraft it's not going to work usually for future versions of minecraft it continues to work so i wouldn't really stress too much if like you're on 1.21.0 whatever because it still should work but if you're on a previous version it's obviously not going to work now the way that the downloads works is kind of different per mod that you're actually on this one says download direct from the website which if we click on real quick it's going to say we're leaving mcpedl.com and then we just click here to continue and it looks like they actually have their own website which is pretty cool with a behavior pack here a resource pack here and a structure pack some other mods like for example this is the prehistoric predators mod might take you to another website and just verify that you're a human and then like make you watch an ad or whatever which if you do you know it looks obviously really scummy but it'll actually unlock this content for you other mods like this modern furniture one has a completely separate page obviously don't click on these ones these are obviously ads just click the x if you see something like that but once again back to this one right here you're going to want to 
download the behavior pack, which when I click on the link, it took me here where I can just click this one, skip all of these ads just like so. And then after finally doing all the steps that it tells you to do on the website, it'll take you to Mediafire where you can download the pack. When you download it, it should automatically pop up in your download sections just like so. But obviously this is just the behavior pack. We need to get the resource pack and the structure pack as well. So pretty much follow the steps to get the behavior resource and structure no matter what. Who, as you guys can see on my download section, I actually have all three of them now. The behavior pack is obviously this first one. Resource pack is right here. And of course the structure pack is here as well. Now what you need to do in order to finally finish installing all of these different mods for something as complicated as like this true survival one, for example, is just actually launch Minecraft. So by clicking on the mod, it's going to launch Minecraft itself, which will obviously take a little bit to load because it's downloading a brand new file onto the game. And as you can see up at the top, it says import started. That means it's actually finished. And then when it's finished, it'll say successfully imported, whatever. Now, as you can see, if I go into my behavior pack section right here, it does say that the zombie apocalypse true survival is in here. But if I go to my resource packs, just like so, it's not in here yet, which means we do need to do the other ones as well. So just make sure that you have all of the stuff that you installed in the game. I'm gonna exit one more time and now launch this next one, which is the resource pack. And finally the structure pack, which just finished importing. So now so after you have whatever mod you've decided to download installed and put into Minecraft by just simply clicking on it, you want to go to play and create a brand new world. This unfortunately won't work on any previous worlds just like so. You do need to create a brand new one for this to work. And then for this, I'm going to actually go ahead and put it on creative just for the sake of, you know, this video and showing off that the mod actually does work. But in your world right here, which I'm going to call test mod world, you want to go ahead and do a few different things things. First of all, obviously go ahead and activate your resource pack by going over to the resource pack section, going into own just like so, and you should see whatever mod you installed in here if it does have a resource pack. Keep in mind, not every single mod's gonna have one. Hit activate on that and it's gonna say it's activated it down here. So in your active section, it'll say it's in there. If you go into the behavior ones, it should say that it's already activated, but if it doesn't say that for you, just go ahead and activate that. And then as you can see, it is activated for me and then finally the last thing that you need to do and this is something that i said in the beginning of the video is look for that experimental gameplay must be active section in here and then of course just head into experiments down at this very bottom and turn every single one of these ones on just in case now from here, you just gotta create your world and you should be good to go. Obviously, it might take a little bit longer to load than usual, but as you can see, it's already started to affect my game completely. Like if I load in, the mod is clearly active. I spawned with, you know, an ax and of course, you know, a shovel as well. It's actually playing really creepy music right now, but you guys can't obviously hear that right now. But you know, like my character already has like some weird gas mask and standard body armor in here. And then of course, if I go over to my weapons, as you can see, there's a bunch of different stuff in here. I mean, this is literally a gun right here. Like we pull that out, you know, we're shooting, dude. It's crazy. Look at that. That's insane. But that is how you really know if the mod works. You really just got to test it to make sure that, you know, everything is in here there's a katana for some reason that's absolutely sick you know first aid bags you know we got the fortnite med kits and everything for some reason we got red bull pepsi coke fanta i guess that's pretty cool and a bunch of other stuff oh this like bat looks sick we have to try out this bat real quick oh my gosh dude I feel like I'm in The Walking Dead right now. Now, luckily for us, it doesn't look like I'm seeing any zombies yet, but I'm pretty sure it said that the zombies start spawning at night. So that, like it gives you a little bit of time to prepare because I guess this mod specifically is very difficult. So I'm just gonna set it to night real quick and see if I can find any, because I think this would be absolutely sick. But yeah, if you guys have any questions about doing this, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. And if you have Discord, join my Discord server because you know, that is actually the best way to get in contact with me whatsoever. And there's a bunch of other people in there that can also help you out if you are having issues. What is going on over here? Oh my gosh. What the heck did I just discover? I didn't even mean to find this. This looks crazy. Is there anything in here? Oh, we got a bunch of sodas right here. That's cool. And we got, you know, I guess a cocktail. That's pretty interesting. What the heck? But yeah, join my Discord server if you guys have any questions. I can help you out in there. And as I've kind of mentioned, every single mod works a little bit differently. So you will have to experiment. Some of them won't work that well. 
other ones will work really well so just explore and find what works find what doesn't and yeah once again let me know if you guys have any questions whatsoever i also stream every single day so you can you know feel free to hop in one of those streams and ask me any questions but with that being said i'm gonna wrap this video up here if you do have any questions feel free to let me know of course make sure you're leaving a like in this video sharing with some friends and of course subscribe to the channel with all notifications on if you haven't already and i hope to see each and every one of you guys real soon peace this is blackout don't catch your bush camping